We just got a paycheck. We just got a paycheck. We just got a paycheck. I wonder how much it is. Do, 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 do. Hello, hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Quinn. If we haven't met already, hello. Nice to meet you. Welcome in. So I am 22 years old. I live alone. I, you know, rent a room from people because you can't really be 22 living in San Diego by yourself. It's a hard knock life out there, but I'm trying to figure out life and not have a mental freak out every single day. We still have little freak outs, just not every single day. And this is helping us here. So we're stuffing our cash envelopes for today from my paycheck. I got paid from my server job. I used to have two jobs. I'm getting another one. I just quit my last uh, receptionist job. If you look at my last video, I talk a little bit about it. I'm getting a new job, a new second job, but I also have some side hustles. So last week I had a lot of server shifts. I picked up a lot of shifts. And so I also have a lot of cash tips that we're gonna be stuffing today as well. So I'm gonna show you what I do with those. And then also I got paid from some side gigs. There's a lot of money today, which is great because next week there's not gonna be a lot of money. It is gonna be a bit of a struggle. But that's why we're doing what we do the way we do it. So grab for yourself a nice tasty snack or a lovely beverage. I have once again the cold brew that I make every morning essentially. I'm like tempted to make another round because it's an addiction and we're gonna get right into the video. Okay so to break down my budget I use my bullet journal here. It is a scribbles that matter. Just got it off of Amazon and the pen that I like to use is a Pilot G 2.05. I like the thinness of it all. So what I do is with my bullet journal I have my entire thing you could watch my video where I set up my bullet journal for this month this is last month but with August here how I do it is I have my schedule on the left and then I break down my paycheck and all of the above the reason why we're here for this video on the right so I'm gonna take just a piece of paper plain piece of paper here we go and cover up this side so that way it's a little less distracting and we can just focus on this. Um, how I break up my budget, I do have a video with my August budget talking about how exactly I wanna break up all my paychecks and my tips and yada, yada, yada. But basically my paychecks go towards paying bills, my cash tips go towards weekly spendings and sinking funds, and then side hustle money, that kind of goes to wherever it's most needed for that month. It could be going towards savings, it could be going towards uh, the sinking funds, or it might be able to help plenish a, a, a bill that's coming in. So, how I figure out what bills I'm using for my paycheck. In my monthly spread, I have um, kind of, actually let me zoom you in here. So with my bullet journal spread, I have a month at a glance that I do in which I kind of document when I'm getting paid and then I compare it over here to my bills so that way I can see like what bills are coming up next. Eventually I really want to get to the point where I am weeks ahead instead of on the week of, but since I just started this budget this month, I'm on basically the week of I get paid and then the bills that are coming up that following week are the ones that I pay with that paycheck. So that's what we're doing today. Alrighty, so to get you guys all nice and zoomed in, I kind of already wrote everything out. So I have parts here um, where I write down my paycheck and then I break down what I'm paying for that week. Um, I have savings, my phone, Soapy Joe's, health insurance, and you know my uh, credit card. So for this paycheck, what I got paid for from my restaurant job, what did I get? I got, oh, I did not give myself enough room to write things. Okay, so 500 Eighty-three dollars and sixty cents underneath. It's fine. No one's gonna notice. It's fine. Okay. So the first thing I do when I get my paycheck is I transfer ten percent of it immediately over into a savings account. The savings account works as both a um, emergency fund and then also kind of in itself a sinking fund. I plan on moving next year, so I need to have a lot of money one to move states and then two to like pay bills for the first month because I'm getting a new job whenever I move and then also you know just all the fun stuff that's involved in moving um so it's really simple I just move the decimal point over and then that's 10 percent really easy math I don't need a calculator for so I transferred over 50 dollars and 36 cents if that you know single percentage is over five I'll round up if it's at zero or underneath is really simple I just kind of keep it where it is hello hey hi Leaving. Filming? Do you want to sit in here and hang out? My hair looks weird. No, you look cute. 
Thanks. Okay. You sure? I mean, you look like Poodle. No, 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 you look like Lady from Lady and the Tramp. But like, a cute lady. Like, if they're going to do a live action version of Lady and the Tramp. Well, yeah, I'm gonna be on camera. <laughs> okay, sorry, my best friend like walked into the room. <laughs> okay, um, so for my phone bill. With my phone bill, what I pay is I transfer it over to my parents. I either like kind of, I mean, they pay for the phone plan in general because it's, I'm on their family plan because it's cheaper, but um, I just either give them the cash when I see them or I like send it over Venmo to my brother who gives it to them. It's an interesting thing, but that is going to be $25. Soapy Joe's, I pay for like a monthly plan there with them. I used to pay a uh, wash my car at home, which is, you know, obviously cheaper, but then you know, I moved out of my parents' house and no longer had what I needed. So, Soapy Joe's, what I pay is $40. That's not right. I definitely don't pay $40 a month. I don't. What? <laughs> okay, that doesn't sound right. Okay, I'm going to still write down 40 because that's what I wrote down. But I think I only paid 15 25 Okay, when it comes out, <laughs> I will see. It's a, it automatic, automatically withdraws out of my account, but don't know why I wrote down $40, but for my health insurance, I have a dual health insurance, um, so, oh, I have a dual health insurance with Blue Shield, and it's like a uh, dental and vision, so that's pretty good. And then cards, it's going to be 50-50, so $50 towards my USAA credit card, which is through my bank account, and then $50 towards a Target credit card that I have. Um, I used the Target credit card a bit more, I went a bit more this month because I had started doing, um, what is it, Poshmark and so I needed to like buy the material to send things out so it's like, you have to buy to make money, it's kind of ridiculous, spend money to make money, but basically um, I already put the $50 since it's in the same bank account or same uh, bank, just transferred it over already so that's why it's like split in half instead of a full hundred. Okay, so that is what my paycheck is going to be, so it's $583, and then I'm going to pull the cash for the, basically everything, I'm going to take all the cash out, even though the $25 and that $80 and, you know, all of that doesn't fully equal up to $583, if I leave it in my bank account, I'm just going to keep swiping my debit card, and then all that money that is supposed to be going towards bills eventually, um, is going to be spent on things that really don't matter. So when I subtract the savings of 58.36 and the card that $50 that I already transferred over, I came out to $475.24. My uh, ATM only allows me to withdraw things in the uh, dom denomination of 20s. So I just pulled out 470 and left the 524 in my bank, which is fine because then it makes sure that I like I have something in there. Okay, so with my cash tips, I have this little box that I got uh, eons ago when I was like in fifth grade. It's really cool. It has like hieroglyphic stuff all over it, but it has a little lock on it. And this is just where I, at the end of the day, shove all of my cash tips in here. And then I also keep all my other envelopes, which is like, it's perfectly sized. It somehow worked out. So we're going to pull out all my cash tips that I made from this week. And then to keep it separate, there's a little pocket in the back. And this is where I put my side hustle money that people paid me for. So for side hustles, I also do photography and graphic design freelance. So I got paid from that from a couple of gigs that I did. I was running a special um, for the summer of like discounted rates. So uh, if you're in San Diego and you need pictures taken, hit your girl up. Okay, so let's count this stuff out. We're gonna organize it. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, so this is cash tips from the week. Um, we had a pretty busy week. I work at a sports bar and so a sports bar Okay, so <laughs> I work at Dave and Buster's, and so we uh, work at a Dave and Buster's, and we have a we had a big fight that we're showing on Saturday, and so we had a lot of people come in, which was really fun and really hectic. But fortunately, so it was a lot more people than normally that come in, and because um, it's kind of the slow season right now with school starting, and so I had a, a pretty good shift one night. Came out with quite that is the, the most disgusting dollar I've ever uh, uh, okay. But yeah, I came out pretty good that night, so it was really great. And I did, I, I'll admit, I took out $20 to pay for gas one day. It's okay, you know, I already admitted that the $50 that I allot myself for gas is probably not enough. Um, I've accepted that about myself. I'm not going to be perfect with it, but we're getting there. Okay. 
much. We're figuring out what works for us, what works for me. As you're going through your uh, monthly budget and your cash and bill donate, you're gonna find the same thing, that whatever you allot for yourself may be too much, may not be enough, and that's the fun thing, is you can always adjust it and get it working for you, but we're just making sure that we have a handle on what we got. I should really organize this while I put things away, like while I'm putting my money in the box instead of just shoving it all in there. But we did this. This is how we did it today. Oh, kize. All right, so finding out what I made this week, serving 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 5, 40, 5, 60, 5, 70, 5, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 300, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 312 dollars. That is pretty good for myself. If you've been watching uh, the past couple videos where I made uh, like 90 bucks, 80 bucks, 100, uh, this was a good week. <laughs> this was because I picked up a lot of shit. So what I say, 312. Okay, cool. So when people come to you as your server and like get a real job and you're like, excuse me, ma'am, I made some solid money this week. It's a good feeling. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just put my cash chips aside and we're gonna write down, I'm gonna write down for you guys what I'm breaking it up into. So for weekly spending, um, I use my cash tips for the weekly spending of things that I pay each week. They're not necessarily sinking funds, but it helps me like live for the week. Let me zoom you in again. Okay, so for gas, I give myself $50. Okay, I already, pulled out the $50. So out of that whole cash over there, I pulled out the 20 earlier this week. Perfectly fine, not including it in this. I pulled out the $50 yesterday because I meant to film this yesterday. I just really didn't have enough time, which was perfectly fine. My dad was in town, so I got to hang out with him, which was amazing, great, loved it. But I'm not gonna do anything for this week, but um, if this is your first time watching, I normally give my $50 a week for gas and that's usually so far has not been enough um, I live about a 30 to 40 minute commute um, which on a good day average day is 30 to 40 minutes to my work um, on bad day hour and a half <laughs> but so far I've been really good and have not experienced bad days yet knock on wood for food I give myself $60 this includes groceries and going out um, really trying to limit myself. I do like coupons and I like going to places where I already have reward that like Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I have the Chick-fil-A one app and so I get rewards points there and so I end up, you know, getting free food throughout the week and it's perfectly fine. Love it. Toiletries, I label it as toiletries, but it's like toiletries plus slash um home goods slash like whatever I need to buy that week. Um I give myself ten dollars a week. So that way, you know when I need to get myself toothbrush, toothpaste, and deodorant all in one week, I'm perfectly fine. Car maintenance. So this is not, this, these are my sinking funds right here. I forgot to include the car maintenance in my self skill gifts last week, even though I had just made a video about sinking funds. Um, but it, it's fine. I just like, I watched it over and I was like, oh my goodness, Quinn, you dummy. But for car maintenance, I'm giving myself $25 a week. The car maintenance is like, so that way when it's leading up to it, if I need tires, which I probably need new tires, um, if I need an oil change, which I, as I just said, I drive a lot, so I frequently need oil changes, um, that way I know that it's going to be fully covered, so 25 for that. And then the salt gifts, ooh, this Invisalign gets me a hard lisp, dude. The self gifts, um, even though it's really encouraged not to spend an extraneous amount on yourself when you're going through a debt-free debt -free journey. Um, you recognize that there are some things that you want to buy for yourself or there are some moments when you're like it wasn't budgeted in but you really need to get yourself a new dress because you're going out on this thing or you have a bunch of family in town and you didn't budget for it or my thing is I have a concert that's coming up in October so I want to be able to pay back the person who bought the tickets and you know buy like a thing of popcorn all on there but the self gifts for myself I'm giving myself $13 a week there you can watch me break down how how much I know to give myself for um, car maintenance and self gifts and this anniversary coming up um, in my sinking funds video. 
but for the anniversary I'm giving $22 a week because um, for my anniversary Brian and I are going camping which is gonna be really fun we're gonna be taking my car because it's bigger and um, has better gas mileage than his and um, so that money is going towards like gas or any food that I need as well and then for the side hustle money so for that this is from a couple photo shoots I did Oh, I need cash. I got 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40. I have 240 dollars from that. Now, what I want to do with my side hustle money, I think I'll do put half of that into my savings, and then half of that into the bills envelope with everything else. Uh, that's for my side hustle for this time. So, because normally I think what I would do is I'll do half into the savings and then half into the debt snowball. But since I know that next week my paycheck is going to be like the last week of my receptionist job and then my new job hasn't quite started yet, um, I'm going to need as much extra money as I can get. So, this is just going to go towards the bills envelope that I have. So, 120 into the savings and 120 into the bills on board. Perfect. Okay, so that's all figured out. So I'm just gonna put all the envelopes, organize all this mess of cash, and uh, we'll, we'll check back in in a second. Ta da! Okay, so I realize this is kind of like an odd way to set things up, just like money surrounding everything. Um, but my first video, if you watched it, you would see that I got really kind of like turned around like mixing together my cash tips and my paycheck and like not knowing what money was supposed to go towards bills and what was supposed to go towards gas and I was like is this going to the sinking fund is this going towards like uh, my bills I was confused so I'm splitting it up like this this here is money for my paycheck these are my cash tips these are my side hustle monies so we're gonna get into this so I already did my savings my phone is gonna get 25 um, the I here were some cash envelopes. The first time that I started doing cash envelopes, my best friend and I sat down, the one that you met earlier. Um, we sat down and we decorated a bunch of cash envelopes and they were super cute. And then I stopped using them for a while. And now I just have these really boring ones that I just wrote on. Um, so I'm probably gonna have a video of me like making some new ones, decorating them, and making them a bit stronger as well. Cause as much as I love this, it's like, it's falling apart. It's sad. But the first one I'm grabbing, like I said, is going to be my phone, so finding that envelope. Now, here's the fun part. That needs a 5. I don't have any 5, so easy peasy. Going to grab that 20, put it over there. 10, two 5s. Easy. So, 25. Going to this phone envelope. Diddly done. Soapy Joe's. I should have organized these before I sat them down. Okay. okay. Soapy Joe's is going to get 40. So, 40 of that. Done with that one. And my health insurance, which I saw at the very back here. My health insurance again is going to get 40. And then for cards, my target, the minimum that I'm paying, though they don't, they didn't place a minimum on me, but I'm going to do a minimum of 50. But as you can see, I still have like quite a lot left over here, so I'm going to throw in another 20, be a bit crazy and do 70, because I know I've definitely spent a bit more than 70 on that card so far for this month, and we want to bring it down as much as we can throughout the month, if anything, have it fully paid off. Um, so there we go for that paycheck is all done the rest of this cash right here where that is going into, into this bills envelope that I have so everything that's left over from paychecks everything that's left over from cash tips any money that's left over basically it goes into this bills envelope this makes sure that since I have really fluctuating paychecks that if the next paycheck is a little short then I have it all saved up here and if I have anything left over at the end of the month as you can see it's a lot of ones I do have an envelope let me show you here for my debt snowball, I am following the debt snowball method of paying off a uh, my Invisalign actually since that is my smallest paycheck or I'm sorry, my smallest debt. 
And uh, yeah, anything left over from this at the end of the month goes towards that. So everything here, what is it? 100, 200, I did everything right. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh, while I have it here, I forgot to pay my Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna pull this aside. I was re-watching everything and I like mentally reminded myself that I needed to pay the Wi-Fi for this month and once again, completely forgot. So I have the money, 25. I'm just gonna set it aside even though I don't have the envelope for it. So everything that's going into my bills envelope for my paycheck is 50, 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70. So $270 from this paycheck is going into bills envelope at the end of whatever is left in here. I'll count up everything. So hopefully I'll be nice and good for when rent comes down. Cause normally the last paycheck of the month before goes towards rent from the next month, typically how that works. But um, my next paycheck, which will be my last paycheck is for just that week at the receptionist job that I had. And then looking at my uh, schedule, they cut hours hard at my serving job. Like everybody is on our Facebook page, like asking for to cover anybody shift and like nobody is giving them up right now. So uh, I'm definitely gonna be needing this bill's envelope to make sure that everything's gonna be nice and paid. So now on to my cash tips for gas. Again, I'm not doing anything cause right now, I think I still have, yeah, I have a 20 in here. So I'll be good. I might need to, and again, pull 20 from anything, but it's fine. So for food, the food envelope, I need 60. So 20, 40, 60. Food. Uh, toilet trees gets 10. Right now, how much does I have left? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 24. That's 24. I'm trying to think about last week when I stuffed this. It doesn't make sense, but mine's here. I went to Walmart and got like a few things from there. Um, so 24 is there. Car maintenance gets 25, so that one I just made. So 25 to my car maintenance. I'm definitely gonna need some new tires at some point really soon, really. Uh, it's a bummer, but there's that. Um, for myself, 13. One, two, three. Because, okay, so my friend, she like signed up for the uh, sales of, like the pre-sale of 21 Pilots and she was able to get tickets for LA, so um, she was fortunately being like, hey, you don't have to pay me back until like the actual um, concert's happening. I'm thinking it's because like she doesn't want us to give her money and then have to give it back to us if for some reason we're unable to go, um, but I am making sure that we're gonna be able to go. Um, the next one is my anniversary. So that gets 22. Okay. So right now it has 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 44 dollars in there. Okay, now on to my side hustle money. Oh, actually no, let me put all of this into the bill. So I have uh, Steve. I have a guy named Steve. <laughs> so 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 30, 5, 45, I forgot how much numbers work, 5, 45, 145, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, and that janky one. 171 is going, this bill's on bill is getting a uh, two full. Oh my goodness, I don't even know if I can fit everything in here. I just have too many ones. I'm not bragging. I just have too many ones from, I might just need a actual bag for this. Okay, I'm just gonna do that for right now because that's not gonna fit. I'm gonna have to shove that in. Okay, so for the side house money of the 240, so I'm gonna take 120. You know what, I'm gonna do this. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Less bills into that bills envelope. 
that in there, and then I'll take this back to my bank and put all that into my savings. And this 120. Oh goodness. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna take a breather for a moment, blow my nose, grab a drink, and then I'm gonna come back and count that really quick. All right, so we're gonna count this little lot up here. Um, I know right now it looks, it is so tempting. I'm going to say, I'm, I put away just a lot of money from this week into this bills envelope. I am, it is very tempting to say like, oh, I'm going to just add more money into the food or I'm going to fully fund this anniversary right here. But the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I know that my next paycheck, I know for a fact that my next paycheck is not going to cover what needs to be covered when the next round of bills come around. And I know for a fact that the following week, months, the following weeks, you know, the following months while I'm doing this whole, um, this whole method of budgeting and doing the cash envelopes, it's going to continue doing that. I'm going to have weeks that I am really just like thirsting. <laughs> I hunger for money. And I'm going to have weeks like this week where I am overflowing and I'm like really well prepared it's like that um I all I can think of, all I can think about is little Joe from the veggie tales like there's the actual biblical like story about this but I, all I'm thinking about is little Joe um it's yeah about Joseph and you know all of his colored coats but basically it was like hey when you're in the years of plenty or if you're in the weeks the paychecks where you have a lot store away what you can so that way I mean give what you can as well but also you know store away what you can so that way when you're having those weeks or those years of just like famine um, of hunger of like not having money paychecks whatever you're covered this is why we have the emergency fund but why I'm doing this um, for the week to week is because I'm gonna have a week where I have to pay rent <laughs> for example that's gonna be the one that I'm gonna not have enough in my paycheck next week to cover um, but I'm gonna have to pay rent and I'm not gonna have enough money but I'm gonna have enough money for that so let me see what I have so far so I have a hundred oh let me just actually put this all out right here organize this a little bit I have a lot of ones to count it's gonna be kind of a disaster Oh my goodness, I should get one of those like cash counters for all the ones. Okay, now I really want to watch Veggie Tales. I'm so sorry if I put that in your mind and now you're in the same boat as me, but this happens to me all the time. I'll be talking about like food or a TV show or I'll just start humming a song and I get things stuck in people's heads all the time. Okay, so I have a hundred, two hundred, three hundred. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, oh, this is a lot more than I thought I would have. Okay, 500, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60, 5, 70, 5, 80, 5, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, what is that? I said 600, so that's 600? Okay, cool, so uh, even if my next paycheck didn't exist, I'd be able to pay rent and my, uh, you know, car insurance and everything would be covered. So, God bless. <laughs> okay, um, so 600, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 10. Well, I don't know where I got 7. Uh, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 39. So I have $639 here, which is great. My next paycheck is probably only going to be like 150 So that 150 is going to go towards, you know, rent. So what I'm going to do to make sure that I have everything paid, I'm going to have that paycheck cover everything I can, have whatever tips I make because it's going to be kind of low, um, cover whatever that can, and then use what I can from here to cover everything else and anything that's left over as much as it would be really great to be like oh awesome I'm gonna put all of this the $700 into my debt snowball and have you know now $700 essentially almost 600 and whatever um, go towards my Invisalign to pay off my debt snowball I have to keep in mind you know my bills that come up normally okay so that's that which is crazy to think that you know that's there last month before I started like actually trying to break down everything and budget things properly like I was still living like paycheck to paycheck and to think that like I had I 
I could have had this much money go towards making sure I was paying bills on time and making sure I had like bigger amounts to put towards my debt snowball. Like, and I would think I was just spending that all on food. Um, I don't really like buy myself clothes or like little knickknacks that often. But I think I was just spending it all on food and like I wasn't paying attention exactly to how much I was spending. But that's why I'm, I'm doing this to make sure that I can pay attention and uh, I'm not, you know, wasting all my money. And when I'm in the weeks and years of plenty, I can, you know, fund myself <laughs> and take care of myself when I'm in those weeks and years of famine. So this is exciting. This is great. Okay, so I'm really excited for next week. Actually, yes, I am really excited for when next week comes and I'm like, that paycheck is going to be a fraction of this of what I made this week but I have this so that's gonna be fun to see like how well this works out I'm excited this is great okay yay fun okay so that was the video of me stuffing this week's cash envelopes I had a pretty good sized paycheck I worked a lot of hours to be able to make um, all those tips that I made and I did those uh, side hustles so that's really fun I figured out what I'm gonna use those side hustles for um, I am actually really excited for next week's video, even though I know that paycheck is only going to be a fraction. When I first quit that job, okay, so basically this uh, little, little story time, um, when the food hall is opening up, that's going to be the new place that I'm working at. It's going to be like a gourmet local craft food food hall thing. Um, and when they open up, I they're in the process of opening up. They're still doing like construction and everything, which is why it's taking a bit longer and I understand how that works. But when I texted the manager and I was like, hey, when should I put in my two weeks at the receptionist job? And she was like, oh, put it in next week. You'll be good. Cause you know, we had like the ETA of the grand opening. And I was like, awesome, solid. Wrote out my two weeks. And then we got, we all, all of us basically who are gonna be working there got an email being like, hey, so the uh, soft training is going to be basically a week nine days from now and i was like haha that was not two weeks for myself but it's fine like i could put my two weeks in and ended up being a week it was perfectly fine left on good terms with the company um but then two days before the soft training um we got an email again saying like oh we actually like set back a little bit more like another week and i'm like that's fine but i could have been working this week <laughs> but it's honestly it is fine like i'm okay with it as you can see like this happened it's okay i'm just preparing for it right now and so far as you saw like i'm prepared i'm pretty good i'm proud of myself like <laughs> okay and i'm like i'm proud of you guys too if you guys are going along with the journey and doing this for yourself too and it's working out i'm proud of you if no one else is saying it i'm saying it i'm proud of you it's really great <laughs> okay so um that's the video if you want to have like any advice for what I could have done better, if you have any questions about anything that I did do, you can drop them down in the comments. We can have a conversation, become best friends, it'll be great. Um, if you want to follow me on any of my other social media networks, I have like some of my photography and graphic design artist stuff on Instagram. Plug, plug. <laughs> but um, you can go ahead and follow me. All my social media is are at Quinn Kalen really easy dm me let's talk let's chat again i just need friends <laughs> but other than that if you like the video go ahead and press a like if you want to see more of my face and see me try to conquer the human race go ahead and subscribe do um all of that do all of the above all the things i just said to do go ahead and do it and <laughs> we'll just see more of each other around it'll be fun but other than that it was great hanging out with you guys i will see you guys in next week's video um i might do a little sit down talking chatting video if you guys Enjoy that kind of stuff. If you don't, I'm still going to make it. <laughs> it's fine, but I'll see you guys around. Bye!